For this experiment, we will be needing the following materials. Water bottle, ice, hot water, and balloon. Charles' law is an experimental gas law that explains how gas tends to expand when heated. In this experiment, we will be showing you a visual representation of how the law of volume actually works. First, we need to prepare two empty containers, then put ice plus cold water on the other one, and pour hot water on the next. Step 2. Attach the balloon on the empty bottle. Step 3. Carefully place the bottle with attached balloon on the hot water. Then next, move the bottle into cold water. Observe the changes. This expansion of the balloon is due to the expansion of the air molecules present in the bottle. However, the conversion of liquid into water vapors is also responsible for the inflation in the balloon. We will be needing the following equipments and materials for this experiment. Stove, plastic bottle, boiling pan, and water. Charles Law states that the volume of a gas is directly related and directly proportional to the temperature of the said gas. The procedure for this experiment is to first put water in the boiling pan. Next, crush the plastic bottle. Boil the water together with the bottle. Wait for about 10 to 15 minutes and observe the changes. The temperature of the water heats up the gas inside of the plastic bottle. And as the temperature gets hotter, the gas expands taking up more and more space pressing against the side of the plastic bottle. As a result, it pushes the dent to the sides to create more space for the gas. As we all know, Charles' law describes the direct relationship between volume and temperature. We see that the air inside is heated, the pressure increases, therefore causes the volume to increase, reason why the crushed or dented bottle could reform or expand just by itself. In conclusion, technically through this experiment, we could concretely show how and why the Charles Law explains the directly proportional relationship of the temperature of the gas and the volume, like what we have shown in the video. As one increases, so as the other. Hi, good day, my name is Machas and today we will show you how this experiment that seems magical yet fascinating because it could explain how Charles Law works. On the other hand, to perform the reversal part, which is the fully formed bottle will turn into the crushed form again, simply we replace the hot water with cold water, then continuously observe what will happen. This is the Charles Law glass candle experiment. We would need a clear cup, a candle and something to light it with, a bowl, food coloring, and a glass of water. So, we could start by pouring the food coloring into our glass of water. Now, this does not affect the experiment in any way. It will only enable us to observe the experiment a little bit better. Start mixing it thoroughly until the food coloring residue is not visible.
After that, start pouring our water into our bowl. What this does is it allows us to place our candle and cup into the water. Now we can start the real experiment. Let's take our candle and place it in the middle of our bowl on top of the water. After doing so, you will light the candle, making sure that the wick of the candle fully absorbs the heat from the lighter. Right after that, we will place the cup on top of the candle, and by doing so, we have done all the steps for our experiment. Let's take a closer look, shall we? As you can see, the Charles Law takes place when gas expands and the temperature increases. In our case, the temperature inside the cup increased due to the candle inside it causing the water to rise because of the vacuum created by the heat of the candle. That is all for this experiment and thank you for watching. For this experiment, we will use a canned meatloaf for the application of Charles Law. First, we will open the can using the can opener. Next, place it to the center of the stove and start to open the fire in a low flame. Lastly, observe the meatloaf to rise and appear out to the can. This experiment states the Charles Law application because when the gas is being heated, or it causes a high temperature, the gases inside of the can will increase and expand. That's why the meatloaf shown up and separated from where it came from. It describes how the volume of an object tends to expand when heat is applied. First step is to open one side of the can with a can opener. After that, place it in the center of the stove and start to apply heat. As we increase and apply heat from the stove, the volume also increases that makes the meatloaf rise from the can. And that's how Charles Law works. When heat is applied to molecules, they move more quickly. This makes them hit each other harder since they possess more energy. Since there is appreciable space between the molecules of a gas, there is room for them to travel fairly freely before hitting other molecules. When they are hit harder, they can knock others aside more easily, making still more room into which to travel. Therefore, the overall collection expands.